In this video, we're going to finish cutting this part by cutting out the slot. And so, last time we already finished cutting the face of the top. So we have the stock material removed, 50 thousandths worth of the stock material removed. I'm going to uncheck the path for the first operation just so I'm not having to see around it all the time. What we're going to use for the second one is called pocket recognition. So I'll go to pocket recognition. A similar dialog to facing pops up. We're still using the same coordinate system. And now we'll go to a new location. This one is going to be named Faces. And I'm going to do Solid Body. And again, I can click on the body. And what happened when I clicked on the body is it automatically found the four faces that look like it could be part of the pocket. In this case, since we've already faced off the top, I want to ignore some of these. And if you click on them, actually you can see by the Z level. These two that have a Z level of minus 0.05, I want to delete them. So I'm highlighting them and then pressing the delete key. So I've deleted those two faces. That's really the only one I was interested in locating. So I'll click the check mark. So now I have that geometry defined. The next thing is a tool. And again, I don't have a tool, just like we did in the facing. We don't have a tool set up yet. So we're going to um, add a milling tool. Click Add. This is going to be an end mill. And we're told that the end mill we're supposed to use is a 3 eighths end mill. So that's 0.375. And then we can set the total height of the tool to be 3.1 inches. This is indeed a two-fluted end mill. And this tool really exists on our machine downstairs in spot number 10. So we're going to call it number 10. In tool data, just like we did with the face mill, we're going to make this move slower than the default settings. So in the Z, we'll only do one inch per minute. In the XY we'll only do 1 inch per minute and in the Z we'll do 0.25 inches per minute. And now we can select that tool and we're ready to move on. For levels, we're going to need to pick our start level. It's thinking that we need to do our upper upper level um, up here on the top. So we could go ahead and select that if we'd like to. Although the code would have worked if it began up here at the very beginning, we just would have cut air for 50 thousandths. And we're going to say an equal step down and we get to the bottom of 0.2. So we're going to take 20 thousandths off per step. With that done, I'm going to click the Save and Calculate button. And it's warning me the radius and length will auto automatically be set to the maximum available. So I'll click OK. And let's take a look at what that code looks like. So again, I like Solid Verify to simulate. And we're going to simulate both parts of the code. So we'll click Play. Notice here what's happening. Taking off 20 thousandths out of time, and we're continuing on until we get down to 40 thousandths. Now that that code is finished, I'm ready to export my code. So I'm going to go ahead and exit here, and we're going to save our file. And I'm going to highlight both of both. I've now checked both operations, so you can see the, the code has been generated. The path lines for both of them have been generated. And when I right click on operations, I now have the ability to first off so simulate all and vo solid verify. And I'm going to speed up. Well, we'll start off slow. There's the facing operation, and then the milling comes in, and now I think I can speed it up dynamically. So we finish, finish off our cut. 
these are the only two things that I need to do for this particular part. So this part is finished. I'm ready to export this G code. So if I right click on operations, I'm going to do G code all and generate. Notice what we've done here. We have now have a tool 5. It tells me some information about tool 5 and tool 10. It's done some commenting for us. I think I probably want to change that. Um, and then it's broken things up in sections. So here's the face mill operation that begins here. And here's the faces operation that begins here. So we can see our entire G code. Now a couple things we want to do. Um, I'm going to change the name of this program. I'm going to call it O366 1. So ME366, this is program 1 that we've wrote, written for Project 4 Housing. So make sure we've done that. And then if there were any other comments through here that I wanted to make, all I would need to do is put them in parentheses and we'll see them as a comment. After I've finished all the modifications that I want to do, I want to go to File, Save As, it's saving it in some temporary file location. So let me put this in a good place. Project 4. And what I'm going to call this file is housing.txt. It's very important that I name this correctly. If it's not named correctly, then uh, we won't be able to grade it when you turn it in. So we'll click Save. And this is now housing.txt. It's this file, it's this notepad file, that we're actually going to turn in uh, in Blackboard.